everyone welcome back I don't know where I was gonna go with that okay I am doing my skincare routine Woo! I've actually had a really good start to my day like I'm in a good mood I'm actually doing my skincare routine but I'm a little upset about it because I wanted to you wait let me put this on my face and then I'll show it to you this is like kind of an abrupt start to the vlog my face feels so dry because I didn't immediately put product on it when I got out of the shower because I wanted to use the new face I don't know if you guys have seen that like all over TikTok this little guy this is the new face this sounds like it's sponsored no I'm not even using it today it's not sponsored I bought this I've been seeing this all over TikTok, all over. And it's essentially like, it has like microcurrents that you put on your face and it's supposed to like de-bloat your face and like de-puff your face. And I really wanted to try it. And I was like, I'm gonna use it today. I'm so excited. I'm gonna vlog it. No, you need to charge it for 12 hours. And part of me was like, do I just not charge it for 12 hours before I use it? But I'm like, will that ruin the battery life? Like, will that mess it up? Will that do something to this $200 little mini thing that I bought? I don't know. I'm not kidding. That was like the number one thing that I was looking forward to today and then I read the instructions after I opened it and I was like I still am considering using it but I think that because it's so expensive I probably should not like I just think that it's probably my best interest to <laughs> maybe follow the instructions for once in my life I'm doing my regular skincare routine that I was gonna do after so I don't have a chiseled jawline today but you know I've never had a chiseled jawline so Alexa play nothing new by Taylor Swift Oh good, she didn't hear it. I was like really afraid she heard it. I have a few days before I go back to school for my very last semester of college. That's absolutely crazy. And I have like quite a to-do list of things that I need to get done today. I just have missed vlogging over a break because I typically do a college week in my life. So I vlog pretty much every day of my life for the past, I don't know how long, four years. And over winter break, I haven't been vlogging as much because I haven't been making those videos. Like I feel like I'm missing something and it's the fact that like I'm not talking to you guys. Even though like I'm still uploading videos and responding to your comments but like not vlogging it just it makes me feel empty <laughs> but I'm excited to bring you guys along with me today so you can see what my life is like when I'm not in school so far this morning I woke up and I worked out if you guys don't know I do like group fitness classes in the morning and I always want to vlog them but like it's just early in the morning that I'm like I can't bring myself to wake up earlier so I can talk to my camera like I'm always rushing out the door but I did a group workout class in this this morning I took pre-workout it's like the Alani new powder I like the blueberry one. Oh my gosh I felt such a difference I used to do pre-workout a lot last year around this time I was like on my workout like game last year around like January probably to April like that four months and I always took pre-workout and so I was like I want to take it today let's see and I just feel so much better like I worked out so much harder than I would have normally and like being proud of yourself is a great feeling there's no better feeling than being proud of yourself so I think that I'm gonna start doing that more frequently. It was like an arm and cardio day. And let me just say, I don't know how to jump rope. <laughs> Even when I was in elementary school, and like the, they would do like the two, like I couldn't do it. I was always the person holding the jump rope and never the person jump roping. I just don't have like the coordination. I'll jump like three times and I'll be like, Duh, just hit my ankle. I'm also proud of myself for another thing. Look at me guys, I'm proud. One of my, not necessarily like New Year's resolutions, but something that I just wanna be better at in general is being tidier in my space my room is a lot bigger than last year's room if you guys recall last year's room oh, that thing was like this big it was this small and it looked so much bigger on camera anytime people would come in my room they'd be like whoa this is so much smaller than it looks on camera. So this room, although it's bigger, I still don't have a ton of storage. And so my biggest issue was that I was never tidy because I never put things away because I never knew where to put them. And so my New Year's resolution or just something I wanted to work on was putting things away and just having a tidier space. And I've done it. I have a pile of trash. I have to throw it away today. Like that's also like a goal for today. I've been making my bed every day. Like there's nothing on the floor. Typically, like if I didn't know where to put something, I just set it down. And now instead of just setting it down, I'm going to intentionally 
finally find a place to put it. And I've just been feeling like really good about myself, really proud of myself recently that like I'm actually doing the things that I'm telling myself I want to do instead of just being like, oh, I want to do that. Oh, I want to do that and never following through. Like I am following through. I don't know why every single video is starting with me having to call someone, but I need to call my insurance to see if they like accept something that I have to get done. I absolutely despise talking on the phone. I don't know about you guys. If someone calls me, I won't answer and I'll text them and be like, hey, I can't talk on the phone right now. Like what's up? And I could easily talk on the phone. Like I'll just be sitting on my bed being like, sorry, I can't talk on the phone. I hate it. I hate it. If I have to call someone, I just don't want to. I get so much anxiety about talking on the phone and I've gotten better, but I'm still not good. Do you guys relate to that? What is like one thing that is a normal thing that gives you guys so much anxiety and you just refuse to do it or you try to prevent doing it as much as possible? Sad news. When I first called, they were like, oh, you can text. And I was like, yes, I will be texting you. And then I texted them and they couldn't help me. So I had a call back. So I just wasted time. I'm uploading a video right now. It needs to be uploaded for tomorrow. That's when it goes live. Oh, yay. So I just uploaded it and now I need to do the thumbnail, the tags, the description, the monetization, all of that stuff that goes into it that I actually really enjoy. Something about just getting something done is so fulfilling. <laughs> You're done. Ah, she's not done. I always do like one extra one for good measure. I don't know. <laughs> I'm adding some dry shampoo to my hair because I have some errands to run. Definitely going to be wearing a mask. Things are getting a little dicey out there, if you know what I mean. I think I got everything done that I needed to get done, like technically, like the technical computer stuff. I have one thing that I need to pick up and then I need to go grocery shopping because I have no groceries. I actually went to Target yesterday and I was like, oh, like I have most groceries. I just ran out of these two things. And then I got those two things and then I get home and I'm like, I actually have no groceries at all. Okay, this looks like it's fully charged. So I'm like, can I use it or do I need to wait the 12 hours? I really don't want to follow the rules, but I think for once in my life I'm going to. And it's driving me insane, but I'm trying to learn self-control. When I graduate, like let's say I have extra time, who knows, maybe I'll get a job and I won't. We're really TBD on post-grad life, but I really want to learn how to play the piano. I've always wanted to learn how to play the piano simply because I just want to understand Taylor Swift's music more, the genius of her work more, because I know it's genius, but I also really want to teach myself more like patience. This is me rubbing the dry shampoo in my hair. I taught myself one song on the guitar and then I took guitar lessons and the guy was creepy. So I stopped taking guitar lessons and I never played again. But I really want to learn how to play the piano. My mom had a piano for us when we were growing up and my sister and I were like, no we will not be playing piano. And now I'm older and I'm like, I wanna play the piano. I simply wanna learn because of Taylor Swift and to teach myself patience because I am one of the most impatient people you'll probably ever meet and I really need to stop. Time to go run our errands. Okay, I'm trying to hold myself accountable. I feel like this vlog has literally turned into me following my New Year's resolutions. I have my purse, I have my mask in my hand, everything's good to go. And then I see my trash that I was going to take out and I'm like, I don't really wanna do it. You're sitting on my suitcase. Welcome to me taking out my trash. I know this is the content you guys signed up for. On New Year's, I wore this jumpsuit that had feathers on it and I see black feathers everywhere and I keep thinking they're bugs so then I scream a little bit in my head but I stop myself from doing it out loud because I realized oh it's just feathers. I could recycle the big box. Yeah, I'm gonna recycle the box because I'm a good person. I'm doing the best I can. This is nothing new. Again, playing nothing new by Taylor Swift. Taylor Swift has a song for everything, but my car is stupid. I love my car. Please don't break on me. However, my car will randomly decide, oh, if your phone is hooked up to Bluetooth, you can't use your phone, which means I can't search an address and get directions to it. My car's New Year's resolution is to stop doing this me literally talking to my car okay please let it work please let it work please let it work please let yes yes is it gonna work no ah oh, it did it again it's gonna work it's working it's working this is me manifesting work 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 yes and that is on manifestation well i don't even know if that counts but that it worked so that's all that matters. I'm going somewhere that's 15 minutes away. I'm gonna play Taylor Swift, my newest. I go through these like obsessions with Taylor Swift songs 
nothing new. That is like my most used saying right now. Right now I'm obsessed with 1989. I really wish we had Taylor's version. And the song You Are In Love shakes me to my core. I just listen to it on repeat. Sometimes I perform concerts in the middle of the night in front of my mirror. I'm honestly on a brink of a mental breakdown. I needed to run an errand. I went to like six different stores. No one had what I needed, so I can't get it. And I'm just so frustrated right now. People are also annoying me in my life, the usual. I'm outside Trader Joe's right now. I'm about to put my mask on and go in. Typically, I know what I want to get before I go in. I didn't do that today, so I have no idea what I'm going. Do I know her? No. Yeah, I have no idea what I'm going to get. I'm just on the brink of a mental breakdown, you guys. I'm losing it. for you. I'm in this weird in-between of like I have things but I don't have things. So this isn't a big haul. I got eggs. So the eggs that I had broke so then they had to give me new ones. But like you can see like I don't know if you can see this on the camera. There's like cracks all in this one so it's probably gonna break. These are my favorite. I can eat them all in one sitting which I mean like you could. I don't know if you can tell my mood has just after my errand. <laughs> I also got some broccoli, some avocados. I told you, I didn't get much. I got two chicken breasts, two packs of them, so four. Really need to go to the bathroom. And then I'm going to bring myself to go to one more place for my errand, see if they have what I need. And if they don't, I'm gonna scream. The errand was completed. Sorry I'm being vague about it. You'll understand soon. But I made lunch, 3.27, and I was hangry. So I made a salad. It honestly looks disgusting. Lettuce, chicken that I made. So the chicken's like still kind of hot, which I don't really like hot chicken and salad, but you do what you gotta do. Cucumber, bell pepper, avocado, and ranch. You guys know I love ranch. But I'm about to eat this, and then I have some work that I need to get done. Wow, almost choked. I got some work stuff done and then after that I've done nothing and normally I would be pretty hard on myself about it normally I'd be like you know you have other things you can do like I got everything done but there's like other things that I'm like I could do that it's still winter break for me. I got the stuff that I need to get done done. Like I'm allowed to relax. And I think that's something that I need to be better at this year is just like allowing myself to just calm down for a second and just chill. And just, if I wanna lay in bed and watch TikTok and do absolutely nothing, I can do that. Before I was like, no, no. Oh my God, I know exactly what I wanna do right now. It will take five seconds, but I really wanna do it. My friend, Tori, got me an anthropology candle for Christmas and I haven't lit it yet because it's one of those candles that is like sacred. <laughs> Does that make any sense? Like, it's just like, it's an expensive candle. It smells fantastic. And I wanted to make sure I could burn it all the way through and I wouldn't be going anywhere. And I don't have plans to go anywhere. It's five o'clock right now. Candle reveal. This is her in her, she's like kind of iridescent and like bronze. Oh, like literally just opening it. Oh, so good. Oh, ow, I was trying to smell the lid. It just smells so good. And I want it to like burn all the way through. I'm just gonna hold it here for a while. My room is about to smell so good. Here's my current dilemma. I'm starving. And you might be like, that's great, Keegan, you went grocery shopping today. No, you guys saw how little food I got. None of it sounds good. And I wanna go get something, but I don't wanna physically go get something. I want something to appear, but I don't wanna wait like 40 minutes for Postmates. I also have been wanting food for the past hour and a half and I just keep sitting here being like, hmm, hmm. So basically what I'm getting at is I messed up by not making a grocery list because if I made a grocery list, I would have thought, oh, what do I want to eat for dinner tonight? But nothing sounds good. Like I keep going over all the foods that I could have. I could get something, I could order something and nothing sounds good, but I'm starving. Like I hear my stomach growling. I got these clips in the mail that I'd show you. Just like a bunch of creaseless hair clips because I bought some of the velvet rollers and okay, I've been seeing a ton of videos on the Dyson Airwrap and I was like, you know what? I should just buy it. It's sold out everywhere. That was something that I tried to do today. But I bought these little hair clips to help secure the rollers in place because they just fall every time I move.
hello it is the next day i ended up eating orange chicken and rice for dinner and it was very yummy i like had such a mental breakdown because i was so hangry i have a couple of things that i need to get done today i need to take a thumbnail really quickly because i have an apple store appointment because my airpods are broken typical me having every piece of technology in my life broken i have laundry to do like i just have like a weird to-do list of things to do today i'm gonna set you here and then i'm gonna take my thumbnails glad that's done i will have time to edit it later because i have an appointment like i said when is it like when do i need to leave for it i probably have like 15 minutes so there's one thing that i need to get done really quickly i hope that i can get it done in time what i tried to get done i couldn't do i had to email someone and ask them for help i thought that i had some time before i had to leave no i went into my map see what time i had to leave i have to leave right now so i'm about to go to the apple store too i mean like how many times can i tell you guys i'm going to the apple store so bye <laughs> store wasn't that helpful they basically were like your best bet is returning them and exchanging them but i threw away the box and the receipt so hopefully i don't know i got clothes i know i have a shopping problem in my defense i return a lot of the stuff that i buy i feel like i don't show that a lot but like a lot of the times i'll buy things and then i'll just return them that is my process going into a lot of things where i'm like i can just return it i got this bodysuit it's like this more like periwinkle blue color i thought it was like so super cute these i think were on sale oh dang it i need to return them they're the curve love and the curve love doesn't fit me well so i need to return these i really hope these are returnable i'm the most excited about these i bought these leather pants they're kind of like this caramely color and then they have like a slit at the end i think that's going to be super cute and then i just bought a simple white oversized like button-up shirt so I need to try these on though. I will say the pants fit me surprisingly well considering the Curve Love doesn't typically flatter me, but I think that I'm gonna return them. I don't think that I like the color as much as I did in the store. And then the shirt, I like the top. I don't know if it's cause the pants that I'm wearing. It fits me snug on my arms, on my chest, but it's like kind of just like, you see how it's like kind of bunching up in the stomach, which I don't really like. I think I hate it. I think it's too big. I almost feel like I'm wearing like a lab coat. Okay, I always see people doing looks like this with their button downs and I think it's it's cute but I think this button down is honestly a little too big for it I feel like I'm just like wearing like a shack shirt one night stand with a corporate and bigger cup or I don't know like that's what I feel leather pants I'm unsure how I feel about them as well because I feel like there's a lot of like bunching here I love the slit I think it's cute but I'm just like is the bunching weird I don't know so low-key everything I bought was a fail maybe except for these pants still undecided next thing on the to-do list is laundry <laughs> pretty good i got some youtube work done but now i'm gonna finish doing my laundry i'm probably gonna make some food right now but i think this vlog is probably really long at least in my head i'm like eh, it's probably long so i'm gonna end this here i hope you guys like this video if you guys are not already subscribed make sure to subscribe i love you so 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 much and i'll see you in my next video bye Mwah.